What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. All right, another episode of BFFs presented to you guys by DatChat. So DatChat is a new social networking messaging app that all of us here at Barstool are on. We have a BFFs page. Everyone else here at Barstool also has their own page. It's a super cool app. So what's cool about it is it's very private. Nothing can be screenshotted. You can't forward anything. And if you want to self-destruct something stupid that you send to someone, you can. So you can talk about whatever you want, nuke any conversation you want. You can go download the app now and make sure to join our BFFs page to talk all things BFFs. Download DatChat chat for iPhone and Android in the App Store right now or go to datchat.com slash barstool to get more info and download datchat. Go check it out. All right. BFF's new episode uh, and, and people have been waiting. I'm getting hit up all over the place because we were out to dinner and so yeah. we're doing the emergency episode. People want it. Yeah. So everyone's like waiting, waiting, waiting. And, and first of all, thank you because our views are like through the roof. <laughs> It's like a million views now on, on YouTube, guaranteed, podcast huge. This will be our biggest one ever, I'm guessing, because everyone's kind of waiting to hear your yeah. mm -hmm. side of things, your take, the whole. Bryce Hall, in the news. <laughs> Fucking in the news. Uh, really? I would say. Like once a, or twice. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And you just came over here being like, I just filmed my breakup video yeah. is going to air tomorrow. So we haven't seen it. So do you already know everything? Has he already told you? Like, we talk, I don't. We talk, so me we, and Bree don't. So right, why don't well, you give us, like, the cliff notes of what's going on? So we've, we talked about it yeah. a little bit, but not, like, deep. The shitty thing about me and Bryce right now is, like, we're so, so busy with content to the point where, like, everything in our lives is being filmed because we got the reality show and right. all the shit going on. So, like, we don't even really get to talk off camera. So it's like we haven't got to have that like friend talk where I'm like Bryce, how like how the he fuck came up to me in like uh, we were filming the reality show and like he whispers he's like yo are you actually good and I'm like I'm like dude we're filming shut up he's <laughs> like I can't look soft again Damn, I'm not fuck looking me soft on that I'm so not <laughs> where, where, are we, where are we at where so the breakup this officially you guys broke up when uh, a month ago it's been a secret for dude yeah, I, like wow. when he was when you were on the pod last time were you guys even still together how long ago was that. No, no, I think the Vegas, the Vegas shit came out after that. It came out a couple So the shit that you were denying yeah. was real, you guys are no, already no. broken up. No, it was, no, it was no. fake. That's the thing. It was he, fake. Okay. It was fake. All right. So you, then why, why did you wait a month to like... To say everything? Because we didn't know if we were going to work things out or not. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. So... We were, we were actually just not even going to like mention it at all. Um, but then she kind of slipped up in an interview and then Johnny said some shit and he was like, he's like, yeah, they're broken up, but they're still friends and stuff. And then Addison, dude, she's do you so think, funny. Do, do she's you guys so have funny. the clip of the interview? Is there any way we have that? Yeah, clip we do. On and we also, I should preface this, you knew you were coming on. You got me all fired up because you tweeted, I'm about to go on BFFs and basically talk shit. Talk shit. I mean, he took, he took an Adderall for that. I did. <laughs> I did. I, did. I, already I had, took an Adderall. I already had my <laughs> morning Adderall. <laughs> Everyone, I took the Everyone afternoon did. Adderall prescription, of course. So, yeah, same. all right, what are we, what, are we watching the Addison's interview? For that. Yeah, no, they, um, this is what Addison said. She slipped up in a video. And I, I, I have a question to ask you. I'm going to ask after. And, like, I want to see what Dave Youth say and, and, and everyone. I mean, let's see. Yeah, so I gave. Um, okay, okay, okay. Pause it. So I gave I gave Addison like all her her music ideas like that ass. Oh, so you're a music genius, dude. That ass. Still like, softish. All her, we know that already. I know we're uh, we're, musical we're music geniuses. geniuses. That's true. But like I actually was her inspiration for all her songs that are unreleased right now. Okay, so I've I've two things I, I want to talk about that video. First off, is that is that there's something that I missed I, on that video? I, I just she I, said I, ex boyfriend. Okay, so that's so yeah. that's, yeah. that's, that's yeah. That's but what, what I, I actually want to touch on like the lyric because like I haven't listened to the song yet and I actually we talked about this yesterday. Like I, I would do we to have it? it? Do we have the song? If we can listen to the whole song right now. No, but we got, I haven't we, listened. We got to get a little vibe <laughs> on it. And if, by the way, we're going into this. I don't know where we stand. Are you like Matt? Are you guys? No, no, we're we're good. So then what? Like it's, you know, it's, I it's thought more, you were coming in like Barrier or something. Oh no no no! Not about Addison. I was gonna talk shit about everything else. Like Which I have no, what? I have no shit to talk about Addison. Oh fuck! <laughs> He's like, I thought, I, <laughs> well, I thought we were gonna have like this fucking explosive like Bryce Hall fucking says this, but I no. mean, you never know. Maybe maybe the ad will like hit Bryce halfway through the pod, you know. <laughs> but I'll be like, actually, 
fuck. He will really start thinking his mind. So then what going. was the breakup video just on? Were you like uh, sappy? No, 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 no. Crying a little bit? No, Fake not. Fake tears? Shut up. No, <laughs> not at all, actually. It was it was just basically confirming it. Um, who does who? Dude, there's. Um, mutual. You're going to say mutual. I, Tell I, I'll be honest. I, yeah. I, I ended it. You did? Yeah. Why? Um, because I was completely stressed out with, like, dude, I paid so much money in lawyer fees to get all this fucking bullshit off of my plate. And then on top of that, it's like I have. Like, what are you talking about? I don't know. What, what do you, what do you the, mean? The, the Vegas shit. The Vegas shit. The Got accusations. It. Yeah, yeah. The accusations. I didn't want, like, any of that to be blown up to to that proportion. The girl's lying. I've, I've, I, don't, I don't even know why it's still a thing because I've already said it's a lie. So, so it's you're, like talking, once, you're once talking about, like, it, the hooker who said that she slept with you. You went legal to get them yes. to withdraw. Got yes. it. That's a lot. That must have really fucking bothered you. Yeah, no, it was. And so, like, I had all that on my mind. On top of that, you know, relationship issues involving that. And then I just kind of was So like, did she believe you? Yeah, she did. But at the same time, it was like the trust wasn't fully there. So she didn't, didn't trust you. No, 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 but well, she, did, she doesn't believe no, I'm not saying. I'm not saying, no, she, I'm not, that's not what I was saying. I'm saying she doesn't trust you, though, so you can't. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, she knows I didn't cheat. Like, she knows. Okay. That's a bananas move. I, not, not that part, but like, so, and, and we'll talk about anything. We didn't even talk about the, really, the, the hooker story because it just didn't seem real. It, that's it, dude, that's what, that's, said. exactly. Yeah, but it, so it, why the lawyer? You think, uh, so like, to, to do what? Like, get her to publicly say, like, I was lying? Well, Is there was happened? an extortion um, thing involved. Oh, yeah, she, she was like, pay me or I'm going to go public. Yeah. $75,000, yeah. No shit. And I said, fuck you. I'm not going to pay you for something that didn't happen. <laughs> like, That's so then it went public, obviously. So she, you, because extortion is illegal. I get extorted like Every 20 day. times a day. Right? Literally right. 20 times People a day. People try to extort you in my DMs. Correct. Yeah. I, and, and every single day. But it is illegal. That is, I didn't know that part of it. Yeah. Okay. Got it. All right. I don't, I don't know if it was her. That was, there was, there's actually like a lot of behind the scenes stuff, but. Extortion was involved in that situation. That's all I'm gonna say. And that's something I think a lot of people don't fucking totally get with anything, like to levels of like celebrity. People can just make up anything, and like, yeah. like almost who knows what the fuck's going on with Deshaun Watson. On social media, you are guilty in pr until proven innocent. But like, yeah. you can it's, the, prove yourself it's a complete opposite. And, and I mean, damage, have you seen the Deshaun Watson stuff? Do no. you, okay, so I mean, you probably don't even know. Who, he's the quarterback who of the Texans. He's all, well, he was. He's leaving. He's awesome. And Amazing. all of a sudden, there's a million allegations, and either. He's like the worst human. It's, it's all these masseuses saying like he assaulted them. 14 charges, all from the same lawyer. So either they're telling the truth and he's like the worst dude ever, or it, there's something off in my. But you never want, you can't you, you ever have a guy that says right. Oh, it's probably not. Somebody's real, an extreme scumbag. Yeah. Watson or the people doing it, but you never know. And the damage on an accusation is. I mean, the amount worse. of the amount of stories you hear where it's like college careers either ended or like D1 athletes that were going pro like it happens a lot in the NFL like there'll be like these guys that were about to get drafted and then there's a girl that claims yeah right and then their career and then five years later they find out oh it was that's wild true. I didn't know that was an extortion yeah. thing yeah yeah no that's why that's why there's like a lot of legal stuff involved. that makes more sense okay so like on top of all that stress and then like the stress built up of like is this shit gonna go public I was just not in the mindset for a relationship right so I was like, okay, not good right now. And then, and then we were gonna deal with everything privately, and then it became public. So why that's why I filmed public? the video. Addison slip up. Uh, yeah, but there's no. It's not her fault. Okay, that's not her fault. But do you, okay, that's what I wanted to ask. Do you think that was intentional like, though? No, no, that was not her fault. She didn't know what the interviewer was gonna ask her. But also, like, how are you gonna like? Well, you're just never gonna be seen with a girl in public, ever. Like, I mean, yeah. then that would you. you that's yeah. a pretty hard to like yeah. fake dating somebody. Yeah, there's there's like a lot of stuff on mine right now. <laughs> yeah. You mean from the past month when you've been broken up? Yeah. I mean, I mean, well, just now like, you can just be. Although she probably. How long do you guys date for? We've been off and on for like a year and a half. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is like the official off now? I don't. You don't. <laughs> right. That's that's a little bit my vote. What what Thinking do you think? One I mean, I can't I can't say that right now. I, I would say, say I would say right now I'm definitely not thinking about it because I'm training two three times a day like right. I'm. I'm just doing my thing. Like I wanna, I wanna go in there for. Do you still talk to her? Uh, we we talk occasionally. What's occasionally? Uh, like every day. <laughs> All right. So. I mean, but it's not, it's not, it's not like 
all like, oh, I love you. It's not like anything like that. It's just more, let's fix it. So there, there was never uh, any like, I'm there was the no elder beef. statesman in the room, but if you break up with somebody and you still talk to them every day, you're, you're not broken. It's not really not every day. It's like more like, really broken. Every, that was, was like I would put you on a fucking lie detector and I would win because you answered that. Instantly. In a second. It's like, it was quick. I, yeah, I was no, like, no. how often? Like every day. <laughs> yeah, was, We're FaceTiming between seven and five yeah, every day. That was that was the truth. Here What's it. your Fine. tea? Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, listen your, to how fucked drama. up this is. So I was interviewing an Australian man this week, and Harry. Harry and you love that dude. Yeah. He's so funny with me. Like our chemistry, we get into a room and we don't stop talking for two hours. Our I saw a video, so, saw a video so well. about butthole whiskers. The, the bum, I saw that. The that bum was hole, fucking funny. Bum whiskers. Bum He's puff. funny. And every time we yeah, do episodes, yeah. people like it. Like I think in person, I've told. No, I've told him in person, like, Harry, you're on the fast decline. You're a nobody. You're a loser. So you're saving his we gotta Girls love him, though. Saving. Mm. No, I'm just kidding. No, he's great. But, um, but every time he comes on, like, yeah, girls love him, and it's a good vibe. So he starts my, I think Barcel tweeted it, like, he starts my episode bit being like, oh, yeah, by the way, like, I have some, some drama for you. About a year ago, I sucked someone's penis. <laughs> Blowjob. Just once. Just one time. Just one time. Life. Just went in there. Did it was for a business meeting. <laughs> what? It's something about me in business meetings. You did it that, at the meeting? No. Oh, I was like, fuck. Was like it was what? for a business meeting. Okay, no, 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 listen. <laughs> this is like what a stress reliever before the yes, meeting. The guys like, it like gets nervous? me in the mood to make deals. Okay, let's go. No, oh, okay, so okay. I hooked up with this guy, and then Harry tells me that he is running his mouth around LA. Saying give bad head. Yeah. No, no, no great reviews which is great oh, but okay. he's telling people that we hooked up and i thought we had this like secret that we were going to keep forever like we weren't going to tell anyone we were going to keep it to Don't ourselves you hate that. and logan paul is really bad at keeping a secret it was logan paul it was logan paul so that's the t i knew you two fucking hooked we up didn't, but that's the thing we didn't fuck and so now he's going around like like describing listen I knew you guys hooked up. He's the one who fucking started putting little whispers in your ears. I know you contracts. think that. I know that. I think it's just when we smelt the LA air, we were like, ooh, like we could be someone. Mm. Mm. He put it, I mean, he he worked, he's with us now to right. a degree. But right. he, he, he Dude, what's go what's going on with like Logan Paul shit just coming out on this pod? Yeah, yesterday I dropped Logan Paul shit too. Who? Bryce. Bryce, yeah. Oh yeah. Him yeah. and it's Addison. Like the whole Logan and Addison are now hanging oh. out because he thinks. Logan's hanging out with Addison? They were playing volleyball on the beach. Because together. Josie and I guess Bryce. See, I think that looks stupid. That's stupid. It's if Bryce is hanging out with your, who? Josie? Yeah. Josie. That's stupid for them to be like, by the way, blowjob is the same thing as sex. Doesn't matter. That's not true. It is. It is. I mean, it's so personal. Yeah, it, dick is. Full. It's like, yeah, it, it's it, like it, basically it right there. Yeah, it is. 100%. You should just went I could, for it I all. could, I could almost see. 100%. I could almost see some people having the opinion like, the I would rather more, get more, I, I more into yeah. it. Like guys are more upset if the girl sucks a guy's dick and cheats on him than like fucks a guy. Yeah, yeah. you sucked his dick. Yeah, and some guys better. would be like, you can only do one. They're like, all right, I'll take head. Fair. So okay. it's a big deal. We're but I knew that fucking. He, I, I, I knew he put the. But I wanted to first. confirm that we didn't have sex, and it was a one-time thing. Right, but again, and it wouldn't have happened because my old co-host was supposed to be at that at that dinner with me, and she didn't show up. So maybe I wouldn't have done it. I don't regret it. <laughs> that seems like projection, but whatever. <laughs> but uh, she could have saved me from the awful decision. No, I love Logan. He's great. You you don't put whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, what do we got? Are we gonna do games? Let's play. That again. was your tea. So your tea was your own that you sucked his dick. Yeah, well, I just wanted to clarify that I didn't have sex with him because a bunch of people were like, oh my God, she's fucked Logan Paul. I've never I, fucked Logan. I don't. Will you fuck Logan Paul? I think we're I know talking you have a boyfriend now. semantics at this point. Semantics? Yes, yeah, like, oh, I didn't fuck him, but I blew him. Same shit. Well, I just wanted to clarify. You have. You, you, <laughs> but the reviews are in, folks. She does did know he how talk to glove publicly? Yeah, no, he was like saying, uh, like, I guess in like a large group gathering. Okay, yes. yeah. um, we have a game, right? We did yeah, get we the did. game. So. so I feel like you just went through the grinder there. A little bit. No, you feel good. Oh, the game. Yeah, we're doing the, the game. Yeah. I meant we just put She's you like, through we just like put a you ring. Oh, I thought you guys were going to like play the game we are. yesterday. No. What? We're going to play Fuck, Mary Kill. Correct. I thought we were going to watch a game, basically. <laughs> like the Brooklyn Nets game? Oh. No. No, Fuck, Mary Kill. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just I don't even know what that team is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Funny. This is tough okay. for you. All right, um, so fuck, Mary kill. We put this together late. It's Logan Paul, Mike Magic, and Dave Portnoy. 
how do you spell his I don't know. name? How do you spell Maylab. his last name? Maylab. 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 And then me. Now I have an undeniable photo here, so it's so like, see, this is what I wanted for us to really wear unfair. for like oh, the Miami. Yeah, 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 like imagine. I don't that have any of so that shit here. Dave, this is kind of unfair because the shirt that you put yourself in, you well, literally picked like the most sexy picture of you, and then you have them fully dressed. For for the record, I didn't pick the photos. I had nothing to do with it. We didn't have a game. Logan's wearing tux, which I think that's the best a guy can right, really. How can you Mike kind of got fucked because he's just wearing yeah. normal. You thing. guys gave Mike the worst. So I, I I would. I'd marry me. <laughs> uh, that's a no-brainer for me because I think highly of myself. Yeah, um, I think I think I'll marry Dave. Smart. He could he could support my lifestyle. Oh, those guys could too. Uh, um, God. Honestly, I'd probably have to kill Logan and fuck my ex. Yeah, I think that was probably the safe answer yeah, right there. Probably was the yeah. best answer. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck, you, I was sweating. You, you I was sweating for a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You, you know, the safe, I, maybe the oh. safe answer actually would have been marry Logan or Mike. Fuck, whatever, I'll take no, it. No, that I'll would be no, extremely actually, weird yeah, if be I married True. Logan and then fucked Mike stuff. True, true. Uh. Ooh. Okay. So Julia Rose, I Alex would, Cooper, I would Karina. Fuck, I would fuck Karina Cobb, definitely, 100%. That's like, to. yeah, she's trying um, to. I oh, would marry yeah. Alexandra Cooper, and I would kill Julia Rose. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably actually, mm, mm. Do I have good taste? I'd say I'm Don't either the same Karina. or I'm swapping Corinna with Julia Rose, and I'd fuck Julia and maybe kill Corinna. Oh but, my God, how? I, I, I told you, I slid into Corinna's borderline DMs a long time ago. No answer? She actually said she was in Miami this weekend oh, for the first sure. time in like she forever. she finally texted me back. I slid in her DMs when she I was drunk. She must be desperate. She's she, doing about everything. It's she just like finally texted firing. me back yesterday. Uh, what would I do here? Yeah, because you got Cooper in there. I can't kill Cooper. I need her. <laughs> right. The but you can't if I marry her, we'll kill both each <laughs> other. <laughs> And I couldn't, I can't even, th like, and Alex Asian is like asexual. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> She's literally, I don't even see her as a girl. I see her as like an engine of like profit. Just, uh, just like a money machine. Yeah, but so I, can, I can't Sounds have like her, pimp. I can't have her dead. Um, You'd have to marry her. You'd have to. Yeah, I guess, but then we kill each other. And Julia Rose, I, I've never met her, but she's so hot, so I'd probably right. fuck her. Yeah. You're killing Corinna? Yeah, I'd kill Corinna. Right. What, you don't get back to me for like I six think months? Corinna, I think Corinna is a thousand times hotter. That's lunacy. I, a thousand is a lot of times, and I just think that's too many. A million. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what'd you answer? She um, didn't answer. I, I didn't answer. I also, would, have oh, any of you Corinna. seen all of them in real Corinna. life? Kill Julia. I've never I've seen, seen Alex Julia in real or Corinna in real life. from seen seeing both of them in real life, Corinna. Oh, so you're saying Julia doesn't pass the in-face test. Hmm. Corinna doesn't wear much makeup in any I'm, of her I'm stuff. Not, I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that Corinna is hot in person. But you've seen all of them in I've person. In person, I've seen yeah. all of so them. You're yeah. Also, I think that is a porn star. So I did this back, not to go full circle, why also the crossover success. So I did that porn convention way back in the day, Fat Dave. I spent like right. four days at a porn convention doing like mockumentary style yeah. interviews. Yeah. She would have, you would have stood out like a sore thumb. Like they're not, a lot of them don't bring the thunder in person. Like you're very pretty in person, um, not a lot of them. I mean, I literally just rolled in from a hangover right now, but thank you. Oh well, yeah, but you, like your eyes, which you were bragging about the other day, like very pretty. Yeah, Dave's always like, you have such pretty eyes. I'm I mean, like, she does. I know. Yeah, they're yeah. so pretty. <laughs> she <laughs> did you. say I know. All right, um, next. <laughs> oh. oh no. <laughs> Oh, nice. No. So Dylan Danis, Faze Banks, Jeff Wittick. I don't know who Jeff Wittick is. Jeff Wittick uh, it's is really funny spot. because obviously I would kill Dildo Danis for what he did to me last night. He didn't do anything. To right, you. right. You were just he, a fool. In he that tricked me. <laughs> he did not trick I did you. not know that You're he was public ball, enemy ball. number one. Yes, I'm very naive. Um, Faze Banks and Jeff Wittick are completely off limits to me because they're friends with my ex. I oh. actually have tried to get with Jeff Wittick and he just calls my Dude, ex and he's really hot. He just calls my ex and tells him like, hey, so off God limits, trying to get with off limits in this Wait, game, off limits, but, but not limits really in real life. <laughs> you you just said you tried to fuck, fuck yeah. him off. You can't answer off this, <laughs> but in real life you can't. What but a world. Also, Ricky is taller. <laughs> What? Ricky, Ricky is taller, Banks. 
Yeah, yeah he's really tall. So, yeah, so I met tall. Banks the first time at Saddle Ranch. He's a Boston guy. He follows me. I know that now. I follow and him. His girlfriend. Actually, I'd rather have Ricky's girlfriend than him, but she's not on here. I, can't, I just can't even do this. Well, the answer is no, you did. You actually killed Anna's marry phase and, and fucked Jeff. Yeah. That, you no, said that. No, I can't even say that I would fuck Ricky because of his girlfriend because I love her so much. So I'm going to. But you said on here. Sorry, I'm going to fuck Ricky and I'm going to marry what? Jeff. What are we doing with the banks? Is that the end of the game? Oh, that's the girlfriend? Yeah, that's the girlfriend. Sweet, amazing girl. He's built her. quite an empire. Thanks. Don't yep. they kind of look alike too, him and his girlfriend? She's like a nice dude. I like anybody who likes me. Right. I, yeah, I, I, right. I like Banks. I've like party with him one time. So nice they can guy. do it again. It's it, it's cool to see like from my perspective, like Boston people. You're local okay. too. Like Boston people have made it. Right, and yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's kind of like that's why I think he knows Jeff me. Jeff looks really good in that picture. We get it. We get the answer. Okay. Next group. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. All right. So that's Mary Fuck Kill. With, and, and here's the women that you've been linked to, and you can just say true or false. Stassi, who's Kylie Jenner's BFF. No, nah, nothing's ever happened with Stassi. Why do people say that? It, it's because we did it, two TikToks together. We used to hang out all the time. Uh, it was just like, we're just Are you friends. somebody who lies? <laughs> no, never. No, I, I promise you, I've never, like, I, I swear on my mother's life, never with Stassi, me and, uh, just come best friends. Yeah. Okay. You, you you did fuck Julia Rose. You guys had like a thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Why are you hiding? Yeah, That's like yeah. public knowledge. <laughs> Even I knew that one because of the Jake Paul shit. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. That was a messy situation. So like, what? Explain. Walk me through what happened with that. Um, it was just like one of those. It was like a summer romance. It just happened like blew up overnight. Uh, we were together like every single day for like a, a month. We went to Vegas. Uh, she tried to marry me there. We were fucked up. We had a great time and we had a conversation. I was like, look, like I want you to be my girl. And she's like, I am your girl. So that's where I thought we were dating. And then we get back to LA. Uh, I'm like, cool. I want you to meet Stassi. I want you to meet all my other friends. It was like a Halloween party that night. It was a great night. We go back to her place, wake up in the morning. Something was like off. I'm like, something's off. I better go get a food. So I went and got her a fuckload of pancakes, all this food. Something was still off. So I'm like, okay, she's not hangry. I'm just going to leave because I may be the problem or she may just be sick of me. So I went home. She texted me. She's like, hey, I want to talk to you about something. And then the, the text messages were just super cryptic and didn't make sense. So I'm like, look, I'll give you a space. Go do your thing with your friends tonight. And then apparently that night she ended up just getting piped down raw dog by Jake. And then I was like, well, I don't, I don't personally care. Were they already the together before that? Yeah, so they used to date and they were like in love. So I get it because I'm like, you know what? There's love and history and you can't compete that I just met this chick. So it's super quick. So I was like, whatever. But the issue was is then Jake's was more upset about it than I was and he was like chirping at me. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe I can make a bag off a breakup. That was about it. Got it. And then okay. I went and fucked his girl in Miami. Got it. And he did Wait. nothing. Wait, say that again? I went and fucked his girl in Miami and then Who's him his and girl? did nothing. I was just, it was just some random, some random girl that uh, I could, yeah, that they were hooking up for a minute or dating. I don't know. Who? Do we know who she is? Nah, she doesn't Maybe. matter. <laughs> Does everybody know. And, and by the way, if you're trying to make a bag, isn't that what you just said? Once saying the name, like your business is being in the news. So anything like that is good. I would but say. I just, I, my issue is I just don't want to bring people who don't need the, the drama or like bring them into it because. It was, it's just between me and him at this point. I thought it was smart by Julia if she's trying to manufacture like a boxing match around her because then she gets brought into the. Julia Rose, I've, n I've never met. She seems like the premium or supreme. I'm going to make everything about myself person to raise my profile. Almost like a Tana. Yeah, she's she's a she's a very sophisticated clout farmer. She's the top tier. She's level A grade for sure. She yeah, gets. I like saying that. She's I, good that, at it. But in a weird way, what what? How would you describe? Like, isn't that your world to a degree? Like, you're. you're I I look at you like if someone's like, "What does Harry Josie do?" I'm like, he's a sex symbol guy. He's like a good looking guy, <laughs> and he's like in the news dating other clout farmers, and like that. That's yeah. his game. Yeah, I, I don't know. See, I'm still I'm still like a, just a year into this game and like trying to figure it out and, and what's going on. I've been trying to pull away from that a little bit and be more mainstream, like media wise, because I realized that like it's pretty easy to be a TikToker. It's pretty easy to be big on one platform, but it's 
a little bit more of a challenge and a little bit more rewarding when you have say a show or you're doing other shit like anyone can pick up a phone and hit the renegade uh it just takes consistency with that stuff so i've just been uh i've also just been like very hungry for meeting new people because i haven't really you know it's my first year in, in this space and i haven't really had a chance to to see what this world is like before this so when people say like i'm just cloud farming and stuff like that it was just because i was more so curious like I feel like a lot of people are once they blow up overnight. They're like, oh, I want to see what this person's like. I want to see if this person's a dick. I want to go hang out with that person. What's next on the list is one. Of, now, that was like a soft, funny diss track. What's next on the list is maybe the hardest diss track that was ever written. You guys didn't rate Josh's song. I, I, it's still softish. I, I'm a Josh guy, so I'll go 7-7. Seven, seven. Wow. That's that's a high rating still. Yeah, you're my guy. I'm going 10, though. <laughs> All right, this is this is just, but there's two types of diss tracks: funny and then try to like make someone cry. Right. If you are wise, you'll listen to me. Fuck Kevin Clancy. You should have left it alone. Now I will remind you who's on the Iron Throne. See, I'm Jordan. You're pipping. You're tripping, bro. This is my fucking business. You're living off. I'm the freaking balls crushing summers on the beach. When I met you, you were crunching numbers like a geek. You're more like Marvin. Without me, you would be starving. Okay. This song, that song fucking bangs. It's the best diss track yeah. ever written. How have I never heard that? That's number one. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a number one record. I didn't know. I was confused for a second. I was like, what? Wait, that's Dave. What the? F yeah, the most remarkable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to illustrate this and you're going to have to keep it together. BB, can you put the cover back on? See, so see, I didn't know this. This is dead honest. What cover? The cover of Rise, Page oh. is Rise. See how it's like a phoenix? Like, it looks like a yeah. my unbeknownst to me, a reader of ours pointed it out. I don't my chest hair is the same exact symbol as that. I don't are you gonna be able to see it if I zoom in? It's crazy. Are you, chest hair. Are you sure right now, Dave? See it? Oh, the top of it? The exact like like Mike's that. Covering this is me. I can't see it to be honest like with you. My, che <laughs> my chest hair. Yeah, my mom my mom says she needs to look yeah. at it to help. Yeah, All right, come look at Dave's chest. Yeah, bring Wait, mom we, in to see this. Out? Can we X out? He said, he's saying it looks like this. I don't like know if this. that'll translate. <laughs> Look, let's, let's see. see. Oh, do let's it again, Dave. Yeah, Yo, again. get shirtless again. Very close. Very close. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right, give you a 10. 10. No, we're not rating his <laughs> body, mom. <laughs> Dave, she just rated your body, dog. That's nice. It's literally the same exact symbol. Look, she rated your song a 10. That's it. That's all you need is sex. That's sex it, sells. 10, nothing else. 10. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Sex sells. Sorry. If There's you literally, problem. I didn't hear what was being said because I was trying to like show up. But she said, she said she gives you a 10. Sex sells. That's it. You get a 10 okay, on your I song. I love your mother, so your we're good. How well do you two know each other? I would say like we had a good two weeks yeah. of being friends. Yeah, there two was like weeks, a good, two like, weeks. Yeah, there was a good two week like three where weeks we hung out we like hung all out, like, the time, yeah. and then then we didn't. Yeah, yeah. What happened? Um, I think it was. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that, yeah, I, um, I, don't, I don't know what I was like okay to say, but anyways, uh, it was I just, think it's like we grew apart. Yeah. Because yeah, your world, you crisscross. Man. Even when I was there at the Sway House, it's like at one point, I, I can't tell. It, it Was that like the Griffin era? Because, I mean, Noah's part of that house too. I met everybody at once. It was, it was like a weird part. I think it was like like a little bit I – don't, I don't even remember actually. I – I don't really know. I don't, I don't know what well, part in the, the Yeah, on. you guys are acting yeah. like you're I'm not sure you're hiding something, but you're acting like you're hiding something. It's like a very, right. very kind of weird answers you guys are giving. <laughs> no, I'll get answers. I'll get answers. And do you have, like, do you stay? Is there any group within these houses that are actually, like, still for, like, D Dixie, are you friends with anybody from the TikTok world, like, on a bigger level right now that you've remained friends with? Um, I mean, obviously you're dating Noah, but outside Noah yeah, and your sister. Like Noah. Noah, Addison lives in my apartment building and we're friends. Mm -hmm. I see her a lot. Um, really? Yeah. See, I always viewed early, like, at, and I don't necessarily more, and I think we're going to have Addison on the show in August, but um, mm -hmm. like Addison and, and Charlie almost as rivals, but there's nothing to that. 
No, they're not rivals. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? No. What was that pause? I was gonna say, like, no, they're not. I don't think anyone. Like, if you think of it as a competition, then I don't know. Uh, you don't see competition, right? right? I like like you're saying like Charlie doesn't really view it as like a competition. And, yeah. I, and I don't. Mean they've had those conversations before. They have had that conversation before where they were like, they have the realization that the internet is putting us together and we're not actually against each other. Like you, we would be so much more powerful if we were together. That right. that has happened. Have they ever done anything together? I mean. TikToks. Like a TikTok yeah. video. Yeah, like content, And that's the only like reason I would stuff. say, yeah. by yeah. the way, rivals, I would say Charlie, I always viewed as like one, and then Addison crept up and it's like, all right, they they're kind of in the same breath in my like in how I'm hearing and seeing them. That's all I meant by that. Mm -hmm. Um no, let's no. get to the like important stuff. Well, what the fuck was with you calling me short? <laughs> Can we play this clip? This is outrageous. <laughs> Bro, that's that's just like the worst. Like I, I came back man, like, oh, me and Dixie like are like friends ever. now and it was like fun doing the show and then I hear this <laughs> and it's like through. I got run over by a bus. Did it hurt yeah, when you heard it this? It is brutal. Well <laughs> It, it the bus actually probably just like went right over you. Yeah, and it so backed short. up over my fucking dead body. Like Dave, we were like you were a little but, nervous because not really, you were actually weren't nervous. I was shaking. I was shaking. I know, but like you weren't nervous about what I feel like you weren't nervous about what he was gonna say because it was like yeah. it was just weird to like have him there because it's such a it was such a build up. He was a lot shorter than I thought. He's a little short. I just feel like David That hurts. It was a little short. What what the oh, fuck? That's brutal, man. <laughs> okay. Gosh. This wasn't like a direct thing towards you. Just on the I internet, mean, it couldn't have so been more direct. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was talking in general. Like, how Dave tall is Noah? Uh, six something. Nah. <laughs> I think I, I think I'm a little taller than him, but it's whatever. And I'm like six one, so he's probably six foot. What are you, yeah, Dave? He's definitely. I'm he's definitely five like ten right and a half. Five ten and a half. Okay. Dave, I don't know, man. I think you might be five, like five nine and a half. No <laughs> chance. I, I think we might be the same height. How tall are you? Five eight. Oh. Can oh we see? Yeah, yeah. Are you really five eight? <laughs> All right. This is gonna be awesome. He's got an oh, inch. Okay, close. okay. Dave's up there. Dave's taller. Dave, you got it. You got it by an is, inch. I'm least. five ten and a half. The, the slander has to stop. I'm really. I was like kind of nervous of how you would hit like come to it and act but you were really cool i was like and my mom is like a person who holds grudges um yeah you know that I do but know she that. was like why okay, I, why I did she have a grudge like against it. you is this why you guys stopped yeah. being friends oh wait all right oh what you can't <laughs> skip past wait, that all right all... explain somebody oh, has yeah. to you can't come just be on. like oh there's a grudge like, i mean like if we don't I, tell us we'll we make can't out. really like yeah. If we get into it, it's like opens. A it's yeah. It just whole opens. New world. It opens a whole new That's world. That's the but point. Ev eventually, just what happened is like I, I was at like and and like no no like like Don't I'm sorry lie. that if I did anything on my side, Heidi. But she was like uh, she like asked me to take the photo for everyone <laughs> at this dinner. So it was like the whole dinner and everyone's getting in the photo and she was like you take the photo so i'm just stuck fucking taking the photo of everyone like no waiter takes a photo it's just me and i was just like wow. all right all right also it was father's day and josh walked in and didn't even look I, at my dad i totally said hey i told but i was also <laughs> like yo i was kind of i was kind of nervous dog like i'm pretty sure that i like everyone hated me there so i was just like oh pff, i better walk in and like why just try to you be, need like, to tell us why wait wait the grudge is because you got mad that her mom asked you to take a photo? No, is that, that that was Heidi no, holding that, No, 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 no. That was like after. She did that after. All right, so what is the grudge about? I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. you do know. You know so exactly what. Ago. I mean, like, just like, you're a smart guy, Dave. <laughs> I'm not that smart. <laughs> we well, you don't want us making something up. You might as well just tell us. What's no, it matter? It's I, over. I, I, I She's can't. In the... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting glares, man. I can't. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so upset that, like, oh, there's a grudge that we don't know about. I had no idea. That's about... all I'm gonna be thinking about for the yeah. Rest the social day. media team is just gonna make something up if they don't tell us. So there's a gr I hold grudges too. I assume that she's on the show. We don't have a grudge anymore. I think KSI is the same way. Like Jake, Jake, Jake Prods. 
He pokes. So let's He's talk a shit about that. He's a shit yeah, yeah, that's his like, thing. Well, the problem yeah. is, even just like I walked in the house, I heard about what just happened today. We'll get, we're about to get it's into that. So, <laughs> what the listen, fuck is going on? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, again, you know me well. I don't know a lot of these people. So we sit down, we have somebody on the couch, and the next one's coming in, we're all here, so we're getting it. And then it's like, oh, they have beef. It's like, they do, they know each other. So Austin McBroom was here, and Jake was here. They go out in a thing, out front, they're jaw to jaw. I can't tell if they're doing it as a work, for video, real, I can't tell. Mm -hmm. so Jake was pissed at uh, Austin because Austin was with... Made a, uh, Tyler, made with a Woodley. story. Yeah, was he made with a, Woodley he did a story like five minutes or something saw, like that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So Jake apparently was friends with McBroom. They, yep. they, it was very mad about it yeah, very and, and went at Austin's family a little bit so they're having a word separates end of story we're still like are we is this wwf is this real what's <laughs> yeah, going on yeah they come back an hour later Austin does like, after the podcast we're done filming with him okay. jake's been Whole gone team walks Austin back. Comes, and you've heard Whole this team part walks right back in he he, he uh, stabbed his tires yeah, yeah. Slash yeah. Slash, tires. Slash, slash, like, two the different fuck? lambo tires slash the tires i might have to fuck him up real fast Come on, bro. Come on with what, bro? And, and you made me mad, bro. bro. And you made me mad. Well, you take it there with the family shit, though. You know better. Of course. Than you, just like everybody else. Of so, course. Why would you do that? If you want to start, I'm going to finish it. What, what? We was boys. I mean, if we got boys, and for sure, then we can run it up after my shit, after I knock Bryce out. You coming up next. Get the security out here. We can run it right now. Yeah, just run it then. Yeah, let's go. I'll fade them up right now. Look, all the cameras. Hey, it's no. cool. Wait, wait, wait. Jake popped your guys' tires? Yeah. What the so. Which car did they pop them up? Two Lambo tires. That's that's wild. I mean, you're getting too old. Shit. Yeah, for real. <laughs> on two tires on each car. Actually. Two tires on each car. car. Yeah. Four tires total. Four tires. Yeah. Four. And I. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> I give the Pauls credit in the sense, like, you and him, I'm like, they, they're masterminds at, at, like, creating interest and drama. Like, are they fighting? The but at one point, is he just a petty criminal? Yeah. <laughs> That's all he's you He's, he's, a yeah. he's wearing now. the black Air Forces and everything, man. Yeah. I was like, this guy is about it. I already, I already called him. Austin and said. He called him on the show. He didn't pick it up. Mm -hmm. But then after, I guess, he called and admitted. He's like, I was just mad. He was like, yeah, he sorry, man, I was just, I was just mad, Austin I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm sorry, wait, 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 Jake called and, and apologized. apologized. I think so, according to Austin, according to Austin yeah. and said, I'm sorry, I, I was mad, up, and I was heated in the moment, I you fucked know, up, You know what's crazy to me, tires. as his brother, is, I, I, I'd like to think like I know him pretty well, mm. that's what I'd like to believe, <laughs> but that like rage that he can't control is something that is still, as his brother, so unfamiliar to me. I was stunned that he did it. Oh, like he, no, weird. we were sitting over here just like, I, I said Our to him in an dropped. interview, I'm like, you're very chill and this is a real, and then it's like, mm -hmm. 20 years later, you heard he slashed tires, like what the fuck, just, what happened? It was Floyd's hat too, I said, why'd you do that? And he said, he said, his answer was I couldn't help myself. And it was the first time like in my adult life where I was like, yo, I think my brother really may have this uncontrollable, um, like outrage syndrome where he just does whack See, shit. I thought that was brilliant. Like, I, I, I thought the hat? It, the hat? I thought it was too. Yeah, but, but brilliant. I, for a second, it was dangerous. Like, bro, they yeah, being well, there. Well, it was hilarious that it ran to nowhere. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> I love how we thought he was getting somewhere. <laughs> yeah, he just goes, he just gotcha, hits hat, all. turns into a sea of people. <laughs> 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 he just runs into a wall of people. Yeah, yeah it's where like, where did he think he was going? I loved it. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm giving him too much credit in the sense, it's like, what a fucking like marketing genius. But then it's like, what did he slash the tires? It's like, they're not connected. It's like, wait a minute. It, is this just, is he a wild card? Because he is he somebody, is. even He's from when I met him on the first time we talked, it was like, he seems like he turns it on and off cameras and I can buy into it, but there are no cameras out there when he did no, that. No, I was sitting here, was I was sitting here using the bed mask tool. None of this shit added up. Yeah. None of this shit added up. I was mind blown. This is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. it's crazy. Oh man, that's nuts. We talked about you last week. We want to get you on because you're in the news mm. and it's your mm -hmm. breakup with Charlie Jordan, right? Yeah. And the yeah. fight. And, and the fight. We got a lot going on right now. And, and you can summarize it. It's basically, I think what we talked about was, do I have this right? Supposedly you were like crying to somebody else, be like, she shouldn't be with somebody. Do I have that right? Give a summary. Give yeah. a summary. Oh, oh, you're talking about the summer stuff. 
Oh, this summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the original. Not, Sorry, not Charlie. I, I fucked up the names. I'm going to do that. It's okay. Yeah. It's, all, it's all good. Yeah, yeah. Charlie. He's still learning. The, Charlie. Char Charlie's my ex girlfriend. Summer was my ex before Charlie. Got it. So, okay, so, right. So, two exes, Charlie. Yeah. Tell the whole this story. guy gets a lot of girls if you do. Tell uh, the whole dude, story. This guy's just I, I, I do not. Like, that's, that's a lie. Dude. I, but, <laughs> um, tell us the whole story. Okay, I'm going to give you guys want me to like. Summarize it, down, it or like yeah. give you the whole summary. Yeah. A little summary, okay? Because yeah. I could sit here for like a while. And talk about this <laughs> give us shit. Like, whatever um, you think people are gonna make, okay. oh, we can cut it and make Look, it. I try to be a nice guy all, all the time, and like I don't like to like put people on blast. It's not not what I try to do mm. at all. But like literally everything she said on Banks and Keem's podcast was all false. Um, it started off as like the, the whole relationship was low key like super toxic. She broke up with me literally every week, mm -hmm. and like the first time she, I know she said something about. Uh, me with my ex at a party. We were at Jake's, Jake Paul's house at a party and she was talking about my ex, uh, Kaylin, and we ended up seeing each other there. Um, and I was with Summer at the time and Kaylin was like trying to talk to me. And so what I did, like she like hit, she even texted me. She was like, yo, like, can we be friends? And at I, the party? At the party. Yeah. Like Kaylin sent you. Kaylin, Kaylin didn't, right, didn't, right, didn't come right. up to me and talk to me. She texted me, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And I so, I, so I didn't want to respond to her. So I went over and talked to Kaylin and I was like, literally verbatim I was like hey like I'm super happy with Summer I want nothing to do with you like please like respect that yep. and like don't hit us up right she saw me talking to her which like I could see where it is but had no like didn't want to hear me at it all literally like starts dog cussing me in the party like ev all my friends are there like pushing me like in front Summer of Summer did? Summer okay. in front of everybody leaves leaves without me doesn't even leave with me blocks me on everything Every time we broke up, she would instantly block me on yep. everything. That's why, like on on like TikTok room and all that stuff, it was always like, oh wow, they unfollow each other and follow each other again. They unfollow them. Right, because I make jokes about that I in never, TikTok all the time. I I'd be never, like, oh, Taylor and Summer, the, the weekly yeah. unfollow. Here it so, is. So so I never unfollowed her ever. She just blocked me every time. Right. So they okay. make me unfollow. Super her. toxic. Yeah. yeah so and toxic. then moving forward, uh, I'm just trying to touch base with everything that she hit. Uh, she hit. Uh, the 4th of July stuff as well, like talking about uh, how I just left her on 4th of July, all that stuff. And I was in there with my ex once again. She like always was like super like, for some reason had a problem with, with my ex-girlfriend, which I had like no comp, like no... Well, I didn't I didn't to her. Yeah, didn't talk to her at all. And which um, ex is this now that you're talking about? So, you have so many this is still, so this many is still Kaylin. This Kaylin, is like still okay. Kaylin we're talking about, right? Isn't, so isn't this is Kaylin right around the time like, that Kaylin that was living at Jake's house. Remember when Kaylin and Elle moved into Jake's house? Yes. So yes. that's whenever that whole thing was going on. And then uh, I, it was during quarantine. We had nothing to do for Fourth of July. I wanted to go to Texas. Uh, some stuff happened. We weren't able to go to Texas, so I hit up this company uh, like like 24 hours in advance and like got a got us a private jet, the biggest room in Vegas that you could possibly get. We were gonna race cars. We were gonna. Do, I tried to put something super was there fun. With you? Was there with yeah, you, yeah, right? yeah. And I, I was gonna do something super fun for us as a couple to go do something on Fourth of July. She was like, I don't want to go. It's too last minute. I was like, well, What do you What do you mean you don't want to go? And uh, long story short, uh, I was like, I got to go. Um, the company like already paid for everything. That's going to look really bad right. if I don't go. I ended up going. She was like, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Da, da, da. The, of course, the moment I get gone, I'm going there. She starts tweaking on me. Mm -hmm. She's you, like, you were going to Vegas. Yeah. So, so she was like, she was like, wow, right. it's fucked up. But, but she could have went. She could have yeah. went. But and I mean, so, right. so I, I was but, literally, but, but, yeah, go for it. You weren't like, oh, she'll be cool with me going to Vegas. No, 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 I wasn't. But I was like, I but like while I was going, I was like, please come. Like I, like I was like right. telling her, like, well, you were organizing like, a trip kind of for you guys. No? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like this, you they, they, they paid like a hundred grand and so. like, shit it. to like. I yeah. get it. I'm and like, it was no more chance. so. I didn't even really want to go without her. It was just more so like, this is like I, I'm not gonna ruin this opera, right. like, this like you know relationship, relationship with this company. Yep. Um, and so I'm going, she's like, wow, it's fucked up. You would leave me if you really wanted to be with me. Da, da, da. I offered to get her like her own plane again, like by herself. Like I was like, please come. Like, yep. I want you to be here with me. She was like, no. And like starts tweaking on me. And then this is whenever, for some reason, everyone was in Vegas that trip. Like yeah. Jake, you guys were yep. there. Every, yep. I didn't even know. I just booked the trip. I was just trying to go. And um, Kaylin was at, happened to be there with Jake. And then she saw somehow that she was there. She goes, um... Uh, she was like, wow, uh, now I know why you wanted to go to Vegas so bad. She literally like, I don't even, I'm just going to say it, but I don't like it. But she was like, cause your whore ass ex-girlfriend is there. Like go have fun with her, be with her. Like, fuck you. Like that, that blocks me and everything. Like I didn't even get to respond to her block me and everything. I and love I like, that move, by the way. Oh, that, that's, like, a, that's, that's a like ball. Crazy. frustrating throw oh, you like, respond to yeah. <laughs> And ball. I was like, how do I even like conversate with someone like that? Like, yeah. what do I, like, I can't even do anything. Mm -hmm. And then, um. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really, she kept saying like I was crying. I don't think I ever cried like once in our relationship. Like she was, after that trip, she was crying. 
um, to me when I went to go get my stuff from her house. Uh, was that the end of it? That was the end of it. She was like saying like, I'm sorry, like I'll work on everything. I don't, I, I want to work on this. Like I really like, How I many times you. did the block thing? A rough guess. Uh, yeah, about four times. Okay. Yeah, four Yeah, because it was another time about That's a crazy. That's putting up numbers. Yeah. yeah. Like she could, she could, she should maybe try to go stats. to the NBA or something. We're like we're going to work on like stats that. now. Yeah. 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 Maybe help out LeBron. Maybe. And this is the main thing <laughs> that was, that was with the whole crying on the balcony yeah, right. and all yeah, that yeah. stuff. So I'm going to lay that out real quick just to get it over with. Uh, she didn't want to say the name of, of who her ex was, but I'll say it. It was Jack Galinsky. Um, okay. So she was dating Jack Galinsky or whatever they were at the time. I don't really give a fuck. But at the time, um, Jack Galinsky was my really close homie. Mm -hmm. um, he was like, put me back on. Like, I'm like, he was like, he knew he was like falling off. So he was like, put me back on. So I was like, I got you, bro. Like, I've known him for years, right? Um, I knew all those Viners. And so he was like coming over to my house, like filming with like Noah Beck and all the hype house and all that stuff. And I was like really trying to help the kid, right? And he was there while I was like going through my breakup of summer and I was like venting to him, you know, like, oh, this is like fucking me up, kind of da 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 da, right? That week, a video got leaked out. It was on TikTok room of him, of him and her, like, he was like pulling her into a bedroom or whatever, yep. like a room, and then they yep. like hooked up or whatever. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. That. So out of like, I was just like, I don't ever like to jump to conclusions. I don't do beef on the internet, stuff like that. So I hit him up, I texted him. I was like, yo, like bro, like really my ex ghosted me. And then a whole day went by, didn't respond to me. Hit him up again. I was like, yo, it's like super disrespectful. Would love to hear your side of it. Wondering like why you would do that shit. Never responded to me. So I'm going like, like two weeks with no conversation with anybody. I'm like kind of clueless, right? Mm -hmm. I go to this party that Bryce has at his house. I walk into his room. The f Bryce has like 15 people in his room or whatever. The first thing I see is, him and Jack, or, or Summer and Jack on Bryce's bed together. Like, I walk in, haven't spoke to any of them since then. Mm. And so I'm like, He's still ghosting wow. you at this point? Yeah, yeah, hadn't spoken one word to me. Okay. So I'm like, I'm like, whoa, okay. And then Summer hops up, turns to her friend. She's like, we gotta go now. Jack is running up to me. He's like, he's like, yo, let me, please let me talk to you. Like, let me talk to you. And I'm, I'm like pissed up. I'm like, bro, if you don't get the fuck up, I'm gonna fuck you up right now. Like, get the mm -hmm. fuck out of here like that. And Sammy mm -hmm. Wilk and Jack Johnson are like, yo, like, just go out on the balcony, talk you, to him. You, you start talking in a little bit of like a hard accent. You're like, I'm gonna yeah. fuck you up. <laughs> Cause you do that, dog. You Everyone do that. Comes I know, you do that when you I get do. mad. You get a little bit in that accent. It's I don't like know you start why like I do like that, bro. I do. It's crazy. I don't know why. Everyone gives me shit for it low key. Like, I start, there's like a whole different side of me. All right, Takis, 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 face Ooh, the intensity. New the new Fuego crisps are deliciously crispy, perfectly stackable, and perfect for snacking on the move. With two canister sizes, you can just pop the lid and unleash a flavor so wild it'll have you begging for more. I have Takis all in my Miami house, ready to go. When the guests come over for BFFs, that's all they eat. They love them. Um, so Takis, yeah. Yeah, look at the, the green ones. Every, yeah. every size. Three different flavors, too. Come out with like four or five different types of since we started. Seriously. Yeah, these are the best snacks. Habanero Fury, Fuego. Typhoon. All of them. Can you face the intensity? Try and find out Takis, the official chip of BFFs. All right. Awesome, McBroom. Welcome. Uh, and... and it's fight week here in Miami, so <laughs> no, yeah, we're funny. doing a bunch of we're, we're doing a bunch of interviews. We had Jake Paul here. I didn't know you guys had any beef. We kind of said it during the interview, and we we're trying because we don't want to like ambush people. It's like, well, who's gonna do shit with us if we're just trying to set up drama? You guys had drama. It just happened outside. There's cameras, so I'm sure it's gonna be everywhere. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I might have to fuck them up real fast. What's up? Come on, bro. Come on with what, bro? I'm not you know what the fuck I'm talking about. You, but you're the one that started this shit, bro. And, and you made me mad, bro. And you made me mad. You know not to take it there, bro. The family shit? I got you. What you want, family shit? But what you want? How long have I known you? How long have I known you? Yeah, exactly. So why are you going to hang out with my opponent like that? That makes you that mad? But you take it there with the family shit, though. You know better. Of course. Just like everybody else. Of course. Why would you do that shit? Start, I, hey, if you want to start, I'm going to finish it. All right, that's, that's, so that's where we're going with it now? That's where we're going with it now? If you want to do that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Don't start something that you don't want to get yourself into as a man. Bro, we talked about this, though. You know that. We, we talked, talked about, about this. what, though? We had conversations about this shit. You already know the game. You, if you want to start it, then I'm going to finish it. What, what? I thought we was boys. Uh, me if too. If we're not boys, then for sure, then we can run it up after my shit. After I knock Bryce out, you coming up next. Me, get the security out here. We can run it right now. Okay, let's run it then. Yeah, let's go. Get let's the security out here. Let's run it Create a circle. Let's run it then. Yeah, create a circle. If we're not boys no more, let's run it then. Let's run it then. No, no, I'll fade him up right now. Fuck all the cameras. Hey, it's no, cool. Get the security out here. Me and you can run it up right now. Worry about Trey. Andrew, look at me in the eye. Worry about Trey. Andrew, Andrew, back up here. Get back up here.
here, Andrew. Hey, worry about training, bro. Let me do I'm, my interview. I want to fade let him up right now. Let me respect my man. Please, I want to fade him up right now. Please come back here so I can fade him up, bro. It's not worth it. Please come back here. I'm not trying to do this security guard. You fight real You fight real fighters. I know. I want to fade him right now. You fight real fighters. Jake's wearing black forces, bro. Jake's wearing black forces. I think he's about it. You're a wannabe Jake Paul. You got my text. No, Bryce is, and that's why he's going to get knocked out, and you're coming up next. And you're coming up next. You're coming up next. You're copying all my shit. You're a clown. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Fuck them. Let's go. Tell us what that was about, because I'm sure it's going to be. So for people who don't know, they're crossing paths, and it seemed kind of personal in the sense like you guys have a history. Right. And, and I, I really couldn't follow it beyond that, that you felt like maybe he had turned his back on you. As you how guys I just been friends. Him. Exactly. So we've been friends for years now. Okay. And people don't really know how close we are because we don't film with each other. Right, because our brands are two completely different brands. Um, but behind the camera, we're boys. We've hung out several times. We, we're boys. Yep. Um, and I guess I posted a, a Snapchat Instagram story today when I was training at the track this morning. Tyrone Woodley, his opponent, happened to be there randomly as I'm training. I'm there beforehand. Tyrone Woodley really shows up. He's on the track. And uh, we end up leaving together. And he was just talking about the fight. We was both talking. And then I end up making a little funny joke with him with a story just saying, hey, Jake, you're in trouble. And I guess he took that personal because we are boys. But at the end of the day, he knows the game. He, so knows, he knows what gets attention. That right? was all over that? Oh, exactly. All over that. No, 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 no. Listen, it, get, it gets worse. So then I posted that. He texted me saying, bro, you're whack as hell. So I'm thinking like, we've had altercations yep. a little bit, right, just right, talking right, right, shit. Right, right, but right, right. I didn't think he... Was that might be like a boy's text. Saying, exactly. Like, Yo, exactly. You act as fuck, yeah. bud. It would have yeah. been different if he would have said, hey, bro, can you delete that shit? That's fucked up. Right. Then I would have been like, okay, maybe I fucked up. So then, next thing you know, I already know how Jake is. Yeah. Right? I, in, a, in, a, in a way, it was a strategic move because I thought he was going to post Bryce saying, like, you're in trouble with Bryce. Right? Because we, we both know. Both we both know. Self, 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 marketing. When it yep. comes to marketing, him and I are really good at it. Yep. So then, next thing you know, uh, five minutes later, he doesn't post what I thought he was gonna post. He ends up posting a TikTok talking about my family. And that's where he crossed the line. He made it okay, personal. so that's, it what, personal. that's what you were talking about. You talked about, I get it. Right. Now I understand right. what's going on. All right. Crossed the line. It crossed the line. So then I was like, what the fuck? Like, we've been boys. You know damn well people talk shit about my family, talking about me. And for you oh, to yeah. say it, like, I wouldn't expect that. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, we have Fuck Mary Kill or ATI. Let's do fuck Mary Kill. Okay. It was set up for her, correct? Yeah. All right, so let's do it for her. Wow, nice. I'm really excited. Yeah. For you specifically. We, we, this yeah, was, we this tried it for her specifically. Yeah, we cater the game oh, to for her. Charlie. That's beautiful. So these people, so obviously fuck Mary Kill. Oh. All right. So we got Summer Rae, <laughs> Tana, and Addison. That's awesome. This is an awesome start. Wow, I'm so glad that these like three beautiful women are up here right now. Um, obviously, Mary, Tana. Mm. You go insane. I know you're friends with her. I, I, I've never actually met Tana, but marrying Tana, you, you'd end you up You would have to, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shoot your brains out. Uh, fuck Addison and kill Summer. I think that's that pretty, pretty easy. I feel like pretty I guess that. Self-explanatory yeah. yeah. I feel like we could have guessed We that. love it. Love to see it. <laughs> kill My queen Tana. in the middle. Uh, uh, how old are all these girls? They're all... <sighs> I think right. Addison is... Charlie can just play this 20... <laughs> Something? She's 20, Tana's 22. I don't See, know I'm going to conf I'm gonna conflict it because I have two friends that have exes up there. 20. So I got to kill two people or just kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. I, I think guess. that's, that's better. The, I'm using that one. <laughs> I'm using the kill. I can't. Kill myself, Garden. Tana, like I'd she, have to kill. She's been doing it forever. You have to kill Tana. Tana. Yeah, I think I haven't met her, but I feel like we just butt heads till someone wants to die. Right. Mary, yeah. Addison, and F. Summer. Those would be the, that would be. Addison's coming on you the show. You got to marry Addison for the money. She's well. She seems like I, easy enough to get along with too. Yeah. Oh my God. Nice. I don't think I can answer this. Who is he? No, I think he's your ex. He's my. But a no-name ex, or is he like a somebody? Um, he's an actor, right? He looks yeah. like he's in a soap opera, maybe. He was on The Bachelor. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Like a I contestant. No, he yeah. So he was one of like or The Bachelor. He was one of the twelve got guys it. like oh, going okay. after a girl. Did he win? Uh, no, he did not actually. We ended up dating. Do you know who Becca Tilly is? Nope. She. I won't see you ever with the bachelor guy. I, I like in a lot. I, I know. 
I have no respect for people in The Bachelor. No offense to Bachelor people. Right. He actually did it really smart. Went on, got the exposure, started his own agency, Vamped, which was like one of the first travel influencer agencies like ever oh, okay. in Los Angeles. Like he was That's what you got to do. You kind of got to use the clout you get from the show. Right? Well, exactly. that's why you're not going on yeah, for yeah. love. Okay. No. So, no. What, so, so, so you do answer. have to answer. Yeah, you do have to answer. Uh, I think we can just keep procrastinating. I no, 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 no. Well, I, I, I almost could answer this for I feel you, like, but the way you've talked. We but can you do have to answer. We can guess for her. I feel like it would be. Mary Logan, fuck Taylor, kill Robert. Oh, see, I thought was gonna, she was going to kill Logan because according to her, there's nothing there. So no, but if they're just like friends, so that's why she's going to pull the Mary card. No, but that's the thing. Robert, like, I, know I feel like two. there's tension, so I'm saying kill Taylor. When did you break up with Robert? They're like homies, so they're just fucking uh, It was like a year and a half ago. So you're just dating people. You're just out here like dating people wow. because you dated Taylor like two, for two. seven, seven months. People. So I'm a relationship person for clearly. sure, but these two, yeah, we're like. How long did you date him, him for? Robert? Yeah. Uh, three years. Oh, oh that's shit. a long relationship. One that Josh was are, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah, that's why I'm saying, I think, because I know, obviously, like, I dated those two, so I think I'm going to have to do. Oh, kill no. Logan? Fuck Taylor, kill Logan, marry Robert. Oh, I was so <laughs> close. Oh, she cringed when she said Just because, like, I know him Dave, the best I think you were out right. of all of them. Mm-hmm. Like, even though we are exes, we dated for three years. Like I could live works. with him. I could works. live with him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I was close. You were close. You were close. Fucking hell. What did you? Oh wow. Uh, next that, one. That no, next one. That next I just one. got a quick flash of that next one. <laughs> go to the next that one. That is. These are travel. Hey. So you either oh, got on. Bryce Hall, Jay. Y'all making oh, this. The ex's best friend, the guy that fucks with coconut oil. Or Logan's best friend. Is there so? Wait, so the, oh, these are the best friends. The last group. That's what we did. I here. mean, I, Jay, I don't know where Jay came Jay, from. No, Jay just. I don't even know where that It's just a, maybe like travel, travel vibes. Guy. Yeah, travel. I think that's the relation. Yeah, you guys just. Yeah, travel we have the same hair. You know. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I can't believe Mike is on there. How did that happen? <laughs> well, no, these are the best. They, they did friend like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bryce Jay is the friend. But Jay's not the friend. It's just travel. It's travel association. Oh, good point. And then and then Bryce is best friend. Mike is best friend. Yeah. This is really rough. What, what would you think I would pick? Um, I know. I really don't know what this. I one. have the. This is I the think easiest I have one to of all time. obviously. Yeah. Kill. I think you have to kill Bryce, Bryce right? because that's Taylor's. Yeah, I feel like you have to kill friend. Bryce. I'd kill Bryce. Sorry, oh. Bryce. R.I.P. Like that. Um, Mary Mike, fuck Jay. I'm saying. 100. percent That's the answer. I knew that Mary answer Mike, the second. Yeah. I don't know. Mike, Mike's like an easy enough guy to get along with. Because can, no, can you get can Mike's you get good. used to being greased up with coconut oil? Jay, every you and Jay oh, that's great guy. Oh, she said yes. Never okay. mind. She said yes. She said yes. All right. You guys look good used together. To I'm a straight America. guy. Jay Alvarez is a really good looking guy. I don't know how you want to spend more than I don't know him, but I mean, right. clearly he's the best looking in that group. Mm. But then I have Mike to if I if I choose to marry Jay, then I have to. No, fuck you marry Mike. Marry Mike. Fuck okay, Jay. fine. I'll marry Mike. I don't know why I'm like Jay. arguing with you, but <laughs> kill Bryce. You want to fuck Jay? I'm just saying he's a good-looking dude, but he you know. is. But I'm also I'm friends with him as well, so that's that's an interesting one. Got it. All right. So are you seeing anybody right now? I was just looking through my phone because some oh girl yeah, yeah. Are, you are. Huh? No, 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 no. You, no. you. Well, you just said. You I thought. Were. Yeah, <laughs> you no, did. I was, I was kind of like. <laughs> No. You're messing up. You're messing, I was up, messing there. up a little bit. You just bit. let something Not slip. Seeing anyone no. But right it now? sounds like you're pretty no. open with it, like going out. If like a girl's hot slides into the DMs, gets your attention, you're down. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. Just making sure that helps oh, you. Yeah. Um, all right, to the fight. So you beat, and this is this is you were the only guy on your side of the aisle mm-hmm. who won. Yeah, thank God. Uh, the only way. TikToker. Thank God, um, dude. Helped us yeah, out. Yeah, it's a bad was, showing for the TikTokers in general. Now, yeah. you may know this more. We've been hinting you may not be able to talk, but Josh is hearing rumors that guys aren't getting paid. There's no money. Is there any truth to any of this shit? Yeah, so there's a lot that we have to deal with right now, and I don't even know the full story. I remember getting a call being like, yo, keep your head up, like keep your eyes on the swivel kind of thing because we don't know what's going on right now. And like that's basically all I heard. I'm sure, like, you've heard it from probably some of your boys, like, yeah, yeah, firsthand, yeah. and they've told you. But, like, I'm kind of, like, this whole time, this whole thing, I've been so out of the loop because right. there, it was just terrible communication in the first place. So was the event just run poorly? Yeah, so, I, I think Yeah, I think so. It, it so was you like, haven't been paid yet? Mm-mm. Nope. So. That's crazy. What, do you, what the fuck do you do if you don't get paid? Hey, I mean. 
fucking there's nothing you really can do. But at least but, it's for, I mean, for somebody like Well, yeah. yeah. Obviously. Obviously that, but I mean The good side for Vinny though is regardless, like obviously you gotta get paid, you gotta sue. Yeah. At least he got my like his brand exploded. Like yeah. he won the That's fight. True. Imagine mm-hmm. getting like fucking knocked out, not getting paid. Yeah, like, like everything Bryce yeah. broke as perfectly paid. as it could for Vinny. But in the other side, did you like it? By the way, did, were you like? like do you, do you think you're going to box again? Um, that's hard to say. Really, I mean, like just because of the fact that I came back and when I was done, I was so excited to like work on my cars. You know, yeah. like work on streaming and all yeah. that stuff. Because every day for the past five months. I'm training like two hours a day. I wake up at five in the morning to go all the way to Melrose to train. And I live an hour and 30, right? Yeah, you do live a distance away. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't been to that house yet. No, I got to come by. Yeah. be sick. But so I live so far away. I was waking up at five in the morning to come to training like every day, like doing the most, doing the absolute most. Like I played football in high school. I played baseball in high school. This is like the most that I've ever done. Think this is the best shape you've ever been in? Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. And just like the thing is, is like if I want to do another fight, I'm going to have to give up like sort of what I'm doing right now and what I want to focus on right now for however long until the fight is like, if I know when the fight is, I'm going to have to start training like as soon as I know when the fight is, Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know if like, as of right now in my thoughts, I don't know if I could like mentally like do that again with throwing all the stuff I have right now out the window. Maybe the Kanye shit. Talk about that. That's funny. Oh my God! True. That, that it is funny. That it's, people say did you, guys you hook, hook up, up with Kanye? He absolutely not. You trolled no. it though, and it, it you fed into it. A yeah, bit. only because it was awesome. when I, for a day, and then I was like, "This is actually I didn't know it was going to be so big." Because imagine you just wake up and there's a text from your mom. Are you fucking? Are you see fucking you? And I'm like, <laughs> "Huh?" I was like, "Mom, watch your mouth." Right. And I had no idea. And then I open up the laptop and I go Everything. on Twitter, and I'm like. Oh, and then it's like a girl that licks toilets on TikTok that created it. Mm-hmm. I think it's funny. It's humorous. Um, so how did how did it start? How did this rumor start? Just a, a girl, girl that made a TikTok toilets, just yeah. random. Yes. They're both living in Wyoming. It's the coincidences of our lives. I live in Hidden Hills. They live down the street from me. And then you both ended I up live in Wyoming. in Wyoming, but he's six hours away or whatever their place is. It's so far you, away. What was the Instagram caption you did? That's when people were like, it's real. Oh, I said something about Sunday service. Sunday service with the dove. And mm-hmm. that's like... The fucking, that's awesome. Like, that I'm is like, so if funny. If people are going to think this, whatever, I'll play into it. But no, right. I, I like more of the are taller. Are you friends with him? No. Oh, so there's no... Ooh, uh, nothing. Like once, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. I was at Kim K's house for a, so completely a, a beauty event. Yeah. Yeah. He's too short for me. I'm not into that. The, the <laughs> rappers, not like short yeah. shame around here. <laughs> this guy, like, this guy is a sensitive topic for this guy. How tall is Kanye? Not tall enough. How tall do you think? What's what's not tall enough? Well, you're tall. I'm six foot, so I at least need someone six three now. Yeah, it says you like NBA guys. Was this yeah. mean, NBA gay guys reach out to you? Um, a lot of NBA players and rappers, yes. But I have a I have a code where I'm never gonna out them, and a lot of them have threatened to murder me if I ever say their names. So oh my God. the and sex is great. True. The names are invisible. Mm-hmm. How do they reach out to you? How do they Just do DM you? They, they DM me. If you yeah. had the password to my phone, you would shit yourself. But that is like crazy. <laughs> Unless they just know that because that's great. Because they what don't. If, yeah. What if that's a huge risk just to do that if they haven't talked to you yet and you haven't. Right. But I've never outed anyone and they know I'm trustworthy. That's it. So do you like think they hear community. from like friends or like they hear from community? They hear from NBA? Like, what well, has uh, to? Right? Maybe. Because you can't just send that blind because if you were going to do something and they didn't want it out there. So it has to be like word of mouth. You've known David Dobrik basically forever, like a hometown friend, grew up with him. Um, yep. Still like best friends with him, right? Still my bestie, yep. So I, you must have been asked this a million times because he went through all the shit, left, uh, left social media for a bit. He's back now. Like what was, he basically got canceled, but not canceled, heavy allegations. So mm-hmm. I, again, I'm sure you've gone over it. What was your take on this whole thing with him? Um, you know, it's tough, and I've never like talked about it publicly. <laughs> really, she hasn't talked about it. Wow. Yeah, no, no. no. This is like the first podcast I've done. But um, thank you for getting right into it. Um, <laughs> well, it's like it's you know it's probably it's the, burning the elephant question. in the room. Yeah, yeah. right, sure. right. Just cut through, cut through the bullshit. Real Let's get quick. it over. Yeah, with. I mean, you know, I'm probably the closest person to David. Period. <laughs> so I know him the best out of anybody. And I think it's really shitty. I think everything that happened was really shitty. And he's a really great guy. And it just, it sucks when you see somebody that's like actually a good person being accused of really terrible things that 
you know, there's only so much I can say right now, but yeah. I love so, him. He's my best friend. I love everybody. Like all my friends are great. So I yeah, I love them. It, I don't know what more to say. I'm so sorry. so based on that <laughs> answer, and obviously I don't know the behind the scenes of the legal shit or whatever, but based mm-hmm. on that, it sounds like you stand behind him like 100%. Yeah, he's my best friend. <laughs> she knows him the best. We don't, like the answer, we don't know anything. Like the answer, loyalty. Love it. Can I tell you something that I said? I'm going to be totally frank on something I said about David Dobrik before any of the shit hit the fan, all right? Sure. Oh, I know what I, this is. Yeah, this was a while ago, too. Yeah, it was before there was anything. Mm-hmm. I, you, you never heard anything about him, like with girls or anything. It was so quiet. And I said, anything that is, I'm the opposite. I have tons of shit out there that I'm not happy that's out there, but it's out there. <laughs> but I'm like, anybody who's this famous, and this well-known, who you never, he, he's squeaky clean. There's got to be something that we don't know. Like, nobody's that squeaky clean. It's almost like to be that squeaky clean, you're hiding shit. That was before anything hit the fan. Like, he can't, nobody, nobody is that clean. But you never heard anything in that famous altogether. I get, I mean, no, I, I understand your point. I mean, I feel like David's pretty much an open book on the internet. He just, like... He isn't doing weird shit behind the scenes. <laughs> He's just like a normal average dude. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, even the shit that went down, like it's really about another dude. Like another guy did something. David mm-hmm. just happened to be there, you know, so. Kind of got just pulled mm-hmm. into it. I'm very used to like, as you saw, spinning plates and just kind of seeing a v- bunch of different girls at once. Like there was a time where the most amount of girls I was seeing, I was seeing about 18 girls at once. So I'm- 18? Fuck? Very- yeah, no. 18? Yeah, there was a full system in play. What did you like, call it? Spinning was... plates? Is that what spinning you just called spinning it? Spinning plates. Spinning plates. Wow. So I, I've, I've always been very used to that. So on the show, it was a, a realization. I, was like, I don't even know who you are anymore. Wait, 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 wait. Were wait, all wait, of their wait. names Emily? We're, we're about to have a break up the relationship. <laughs> I, I have like 9,000 questions. You sing 18. When you say sing 18 girls at once, what does that mean? So do like, they all know? So dating. So I'd be dating or sleeping with the 18 we're girls. We're using once, condoms. Or, or chatting to. Yeah, condoms. On them every time. Safe sex is good sex. No, you are. <laughs> how oh, do you my- see eighteen <laughs> girls? How often do you talk? Like, oh, how, how do you even do that? It, so it was. I was in. I was in uni, and I wasn't really doing my course. I was just like, I was a serial there. Essentially, I was like an. Es- I wasn't an escort, but I was like <laughs> seeing all these girls. You were an I escort. Like a, no, I, I wasn't an actual escort, but I had on my notes. You know they're gonna clip this now. Yeah, just no, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, just, no, that's why I tried to retrace. I, I'm still <laughs> like, to me, that may be, and I don't know if it's a compliment or an insult. That may be the most like impressive thing. I've 18 girls. Did yeah. they all How are you so organized? I mean, no, they didn't know. Now they do. Now they probably yeah. do. But I mean, yeah, I was just, I had a problem. I was addicted to female attention and female like gratification. So for And me, female genitalia for, area. Yeah, and that. So, for me, it was like, it was all an ego thing. 18, will you talk to them every day? All 18 of them? Yeah, so I'd... I'd, I'd That's <laughs> crazy. That. So I'd, I'd normally sit down in the morning and do my replies, and I'd sit down in the afternoon oh, then and do God. some more replies. Some I'd speak to more than others. It was all it was all dependent on how much I liked them. Wait, and is how that... often did they bump <laughs> into so each bad. other? What's that? Like, is the all the same area that you lived in? Yeah, so it was in uni, so like everyone's in the kind in of In the uni same area. uni? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God, that's dangerous. Well, it dangerous. Was playing with fire for sure. Yeah, that's why I didn't really go on nights out that much. I, I remember I went on one night out before and there was like six of them all in one place. And I was like, fuck. So I said to my boys, I was like, I need to go. I was like, this is not good for me. Um, so yeah, I didn't go on nights out that much. I was just a single day. <laughs> hang on, day. hang on. Well, that's what you said to me last night at the club. What? That's exactly what you said. <laughs> That is exactly what you said. What's no one there? Uh oh. <laughs> well, I mean. <sighs> Just, Are you winding me up? No, obviously there was no one there. You know that. <laughs> Special guest, Livy Dunn. Welcome to BFFs. Hello. Hi, thank so, you for having me. You're welcome. So let's like cut right to it. Like, how do you and Josh know each other? We, we like, I saw you the first time, I think last week, right? You had the video, Josh, you were like responding yeah, let's, let's to each other. Let's cut to it other. real quick. How much for your bath water, dead ass? <laughs> No, <laughs> so this is just gonna be like a flirt session. Yeah, me and Dave shouldn't have even two, came. Like me, me and Bree can just sit and kind of like do our shit, and you guys can just <laughs> flirt. Wow. That's how I mean, it's gonna be. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that seems like how it's gonna be. No, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, she's a boy. <gasps> shot to the heart. 
Josh, shot to the heart. What do you think? Did about you know that? that, Josh? I didn't know. That. All right, this interview is over. Abort, clearly, like abort mission. <laughs> did you honestly? Did you know that? No, I actually didn't know that. <laughs> fun, fun fact, though. How have what is it? How the turntables have turned? Yeah, how yeah. the table or how the turns tabled. <laughs> All right. Well, welcome, anyways. Yeah, welcome. Wow, that changes Yo, everything. So a great start. Though. This is a great. Josh start. is just gonna leave. <laughs> How long have you had the boyfriend for? Um, since I started school, so probably about eight months. Oh, okay. What's his, what's his name? Theo. Shout out Theo. My bad. G. So, when, well, when you say started school, you mean you're a sophomore, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so your sophomore year. Or it was COVID, did you not? I don't even know. It was COVID like you were at their freshman year, is that it? No, we were on campus last year, but we started like dating in... Um, November of last school year. So MGK, Machine Gun Kelly, Megan Fox's Airbnb. Uh, they're in the news after alluding to having sex on their Airbnb table. She tweeted or Instagram when I tell you some uh, when I tell you that the table at this Airbnb saw some things. Machine Gun Kelly, I'm really glad that's not our table anymore. And she took a picture in front of the table. What do you think she did on the table? Do you think she was like it was got real filthy and sloppy on the table? Yeah, just because Machine Gun Kelly, he's crazy. He is a crazy They're guy. They're both crazy He's together, crazy too. She got Megan Fox. She, she got her shit, too. I just, and I, it's a big table. It's not a small it's a big table. big table. So what do you think was I done? think it was basic. So, I mean, I don't... Basic? Why would it be basic? Well, she well, you're like already that? doing it on a table. Why probably, keep it basic? He probably ate her ass, all types of shit on the table. Mm -hmm. Ate her ass out till she Survival passed out. was everywhere. <laughs> All right. I mean, well, it had to be something crazy if they posted about it. Probably, I think sex on an Airbnb no, table. Is HBO. Enough. He probably gave her HBO. Yeah. What's HBO? Heine blowout. Heine mm. blowout. <laughs> yeah, you wet it and you blow in there. Yeah. Once you lick it, ah. The ass whistles back at you. Is that like something that people know? Yeah. I don't yeah, know. Right? They might know. Yes. Did never you never know what HBO, HBO was, Max? Josh? The HBO Max? You never hear no, that? No, that's uh, HBO <laughs> he Max. like the Max. He's the animal. Yeah, he, he goes to the next level. <laughs> that's literally like just a TV station. No, I never heard <laughs> yeah, that. HBO Heine Blowout. Yeah, it's wild. That's a thing. That's a thing, that's yeah. A thing. Josh, do you know what that was? Come, uh, come yeah, on, Dave. Come on, like, Dave. No way. You're going to act like you never ate ass, Dave. I've never said HBO. Heine Blowout. Blowout. I'm saying never, that. You never walk up to a girl on the dance floor? I don't know what an HBO If you're like, hey, did you do you HBO? I'd be like, what the fuck are you talking so about? Now, so now you know. So now you're like, babe, you want HBO tonight? Yeah, How old I know was you the first yeah. time you gave a girl HBO? See, here we go. Mm, mm, <laughs> probably probably like 17. Damn. Dave, how old he was you? He started early. He was I, eating I, ass at 17. Def, well, he, how, uh, he's young now. Imagine I'm 19, being that famous. So. He's like, I'm yeah, he's like Justin Bieber. You know how big he is? He's yeah, huge. he's humongous. He's humongous. How, how do you deal with? Do he have a girlfriend? No, I don't. Oh, I just okay. So they I had just a famous the break now. They had a famous break. So now you're just out here doing pornos and all types of shit. <laughs> I'm just following in Dave's footsteps, really. Um, Nessa is Josh's ex boyfriend. Jaden was his best friend. Wait, this whoa. was the, wait, the wait, public wait, 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 breakup. Wait, 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 wait. You just said ex boyfriend, Dave. Nessa was ex your ex girlfriend. Jaden was his best friend. Oh. They kind of. So his what, best wait, what, his best friend his best friend took his go. girlfriend. You just put together. Yeah. His best friend public. took his girlfriend. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it was super public. Very public. How did that happen? <laughs> hey, you win some, you lose some, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, you, you got to you know, you got it. Was, was there any clues that you knew something was going on? We don't um, want to dig. I'm not going to dig up fuck, the history. Leave it on his ass. I don't know. But let's let's if we've gone through it. It was. It, Are y'all still friends? No. Why would they fuck still no. be? Friends? I mean, listen, I will no, say no, no. some some guys take their losses better than other fucking guys. I mean, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> I will say we did unbelievable numbers during the stretch. We broke YouTube. We broke YouTube. <laughs> we literally YouTube. launched it. Broke YouTube. It was like. 10 million people trying to get it out one. That's how big it was. It was great for the podcast, not great for his mental health. Mental and we moved past yeah. it. But what is this clip? Are they married? Is this real? Yeah. There's got to be. People are speculating that Jaden Hostler and Nessa Wait. Bear are engaged. Wait. Or married. He lost his woman to and the blind kid. So yeah, Nessa posted this. He's like a rock star. And then quickly deleted it. He and is a rock guy. And here's he looks why. like a rock star. So the picture though. she reposted is the exact same except one thing. A ring on her finger. The first Instagram picture she posted, she had a diamond ring on her finger, and then she deleted the Instagram post and then reposted it with the ring edited out. And then she posted this to her Instagram story saying, I don't know why the other one got deleted, but 
So what do you guys think? Do you think that they're engaged, married, or I think they're fucking with That's us. That's a publicity stunt. Mm-hmm. Totally. I don't know. I don't know why the other one got deleted. Yes, totally. you do. Yeah, definitely, definitely a publicity. And you don't. I love, mention I it. love this podcast, by the way. This is but, fun. But, <laughs> but let, let me just tell you, crazy. when you bounce back. Oh, you got to bounce back so notorious and glorious. Shit, Olivia's in the room next door. I kind of, do you see this bee? Do you see this fucking bee right now? You see yeah, that? Yeah, I do actually. That's kind of what I did with the bee. Why is she in the room? Aren't you in London? Who is she? She's just with us. I don't fucking know. She's next door. I can go well, grab well, Who right is now. she? She's a fucking pop star. Yeah, yeah. singer. She just, she just with did. you? Asking no, she's not with me, but she's here. She's hanging out. The thing is, there's no live, no logical answers for you, Dave. We're doing international business. It's international <laughs> business, Dave. It just makes sense, man. It no, just nobody, makes sense. like uh, there's nobody. We're so casual. Like this girl is on this on this marry fuck kill. It's not planned planned out. You're like, oh yeah, she's in the back room. All right, get her. We just go get her. We go on trips. So go get her. Bring- yeah, grab her. We'll ask her what she's doing there. <laughs> Jeez, you think she's doing international business too? Are you not like Josh remotely? Like, I don't, like, she's on this. What do you mean she's there? They're in London. What are the odds of that? Am I missing something? The odds are about as slim as they could get, but honestly, nothing really surprises me, man. I just feel do like. Do you know who she happen. is? Yeah, no, I know who she is. I've hung out with her before. She used to, <laughs> she used to, she used to come to Sway House sometimes. And she's a pop singer? What yeah. did she say? Oh, yeah. She's got a popular TikTok song called, well, it got viral on TikTok called Jocelyn. Uh, there's another one, too, that was really big. What's she hooking up with Logan or something? Like, what What are we talking about? She's just Possibly. empty. What? Hold on. She's just throwing some pants off. Oh. <laughs> she's hanging out with them doing international business. Naked. It's international business. Makes man. no sense. So what's... Dude, I- there's no logical but I, I don't even care if it's not a logical answer if the odds of this her being on this unless there's a reason she's on there with him oh Is there's there, a reason no, 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 there's no, gotta no, there's be a not. reason all right pull it pull it back up she was in bed so she like don't mind asleep. don't mind her i'm not with the hat that hey, hat Olivia. fucks hey you're on bffs i don't know if you know What's what up? that is but we do this game like marry fuck kill and you're <laughs> on it and Mike's like, yeah, she's in the other room in London, which makes no <laughs> sense. But like, so what are you like? What are you doing there? He's just like, wh- where do you live? Okay. Who, wh- where do you live, Olivia? I don't have all my travel. She lives in Los what? Angeles. She and she's a friend of ours, a longtime friend of ours. Uh, and what, like, what, what? Why are you there? Just hanging out? Are you just yes. giving us like a stomach view? What is going on? Yeah, what is happening? You even Who else her? is there? Yeah, she said Who sex. Who else is there? So it's Mike, Dave, Olivia. Dave, she's there for sex, she I'm said. Here, we figured it out. What? I'm here as a member of the Logan. Logan really gang. Are- All right. Logan. So like you're fucking Logan? Is that it? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, fine. That's, Sick. That's wow, an answer okay. at least. So you guys, there's, you, guys there's, wanted, you guys wanted tea. You got it. There's, there's a headline. headline. We're, there's we're headline. trying to get an answer. All right, so but also that's not that's not new news. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I it's like not like it's, songs it. it's, yeah. She's written half of her catalog is written. It, honestly, it. it's news to me. Well, how old are you? You're not my usual like fan base, so like I'm not sure. Like that's a good. How old do you think I am? Four. Four? No, no. that's kind of right. <laughs> that's kind of right. <laughs> I was totally right. I literally was taking it. I was like, "Close this podcast." Also, I look back. Okay, this can't, close, this can't go. Close the door. Why? All right. Yeah, why is right? This is all right. So marry, fuck, kill. This, that was a, that. Oh, do you want to watch it? Yeah. Okay, pull it up again. Yeah, she can come on. Yeah, I was gonna say you should have to actually decide who right. you're gonna marry, fuck, and kill in front of her. Oh, this she is, can answer it too. Well, she couldn't like fuck herself. I don't think. Um. All right. So so again, marry, fuck, kill. Karina Kampf, Alex Cooper, Olivia O'Brien. I'm gonna make this really easy. She's like right uh, over your shoulder. So. Yeah, I know. It's 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 I'm horror movie gonna, vibes right now. I'm gonna make this really easy. At 3:30 a.m., at 4:15 a.m., at 5:30 a.m., and once again at 7 a.m. Okay, Stop really for one second. What time she is it there, in, by the way? It's it's 6 p.m. Right okay. Now. She came into my room, woke me up. Every time, what are you doing? All fucked up, 
And then she went and told Logan that I had a girl in here, <laughs> made up a whole story about it. I literally thought that he had a girl here because he was trying to get me to leave because I was so drunk and annoying him. So is that so like he, breaking I, news? Is that like, oh my God, Mike's got a girl. Wake everybody up. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, Mike's right. Like just run around the house. Let's all celebrate and pop champagne. <laughs> Finally, Mike's got no, another girl. But it's weird I, when I don't have one in bed and she's telling me, she's like, Mike's got this whore in his room. He's being mean to me. I'm like, Olivia, so long story short, she's dead. Okay. So she, she's right, killed. right. This isn't she's just, killed. this isn't just like a murder. This is a passionate, targeted kill, bro. Okay. You're hunting. Okay. Now let's get, now let's get to the exciting part. Mm. Okay. Mm. Love you. I'm dead. I got it. Yeah, go, go back to the <laughs> All right. Oh, God. So, damn. The other two both have made so much money mm. in the last six months. Yep. They're both so fucking hot. Yep. And. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck her and a Mary Alex, dude. That's just my answer. Fuck That's her and Mary I'm Alex. Her, Corinna, dude, it. Corinna's known to like be like one of like a great like that's a good lock, dude. Like that's a good thing to do. From what I understand, she's she she's great, right? Alex seems like she's got her, you know, except for the other night, like she has her head on straight. She's focused on her business and she she's goal oriented. And uh, yeah, so I'm marrying Alex. Yeah, so there's one more game. It's a freestyle game. I know one of you, who likes to sing? Is it you, Fly Soldier? I like to sing, he likes to rap. Okay, so this is a fr freestyle game. We, we're gonna put up pictures of two different things. It's like random stuff, and you guys can sing, you can rap, so you just see what you guys come up with. All uh, right. Okay. I love this. Yeah. Yeah, putting them on the spot. All right, so we got Kodak, bananas, and TikTok. Oh, See do we got... pick, do we pick one or we do it in order? Whatever you want, however you want to do it. Just try to incorporate the three, or if you can only do two, whatever you can come up with. Hey, I'm on TikTok with my damn Glock. Why you seen it with nobody? I'm a rocket like a damn sock player. When nobody with a glizzy, you gonna play another op. You gonna put that with a stop and you blow up on his top. I'm gonna do it how you seen it. Like, oh boy, you seen us rock. I'm like, damn, you seen it though. Like you seen it with his sauce. I'm like, damn, I got money. I got sauce. I'm like, damn, I keep on bashing with that dirty round no clip. I'm on TikTok. When you seen it with a glizzy, why the time is steady ticking? Uh -huh. Hey, look, I'm just TikTok famous trying to get it to the top. Bitch, I've been on a mission. I don't think you understand him. Better start to sneak this and hit you with a glizzy. You can get stopped. Me and my brother, we gonna make it to the top. And that's your problem. I don't really worry about too many minutes. I get trigger happy. Better stop by the camping. You know how I'm living. Yeah, I'm a blessing for real. I was in the field, my young. Hey. Yeah. When you talk about bananas, you banana with a clip. I'm like playing for nobody, you gon' catch a high slip. I'm gon' make it down for nobody to top. I made it rich. We sell it like a brick, but they keep talking all this shit. I'm gon' make it hit a lick, and then I hit another hit. They gon' play it with nobody. I'm just trying to make it rich. I'm like quarterback, just try to really at your link with me. He Ooh. like, damn, when you play it, why you seen it really click? He is saying he initiated me. I don't know. And I said, what you want to <laughs> do with me? Oh, yeah. What you want to do with me? That's I that island boys. That's good. Oh, yeah. I said, I'm on a mission. Yeah. Hey, like I said, I'm on TikTok, <laughs> busy with a Glock. I'm like, boy, you better stop because I blow up on his top. I'm a rocket like I rock it like I rock it. Now his socks. Said, boy, yeah, he got it. And that boy just got some sauce. Yeah, I got Gucci on my feet. I'm a wrist nigga, just for real. I don't think you understand. I was trying to make them bands. I was broke on my dick. I had to hit a lick. I was with my brother who was taking, out, taking off on cribs. Let's go. I mean, that's, that's great. Fucking platinum, right? Way longer yeah. than you even needed to. Yeah, and they I don't kept know. We going. Got, did we get Cody? We got right. bananas. We got TikTok. We got all of it. No, yeah, we got, we got all of it. All of it. Whew. Yeah. That was good. I mean, we have one more if you guys want to do another, but that was. <laughs> I, th I think that nailed yeah. it. What, what more can we do? That's the perfect kind of way I mean, to you end can, it. You can, you can bring it over. You want to do more. All right, they want it. They want all it. Right, give them right, another right, one. There's one more. All right, so we got three random things. We got oil, whatever type of oil you want to talk about, a hat, you could go cap, and then we got Dave. So that's me. All right, this should be interesting. Uh, oh, wow. Right. Hey, wow. man. Let's start off. All right, go. Hey, look. <clears throat> She's a virgin. Oh, yo. She's a virgin. Oh, yo. I said, what you want to do? Ooh, ooh, yeah. Hey, last night I had some lasagna. 
Olive oil with the little crumbs, yeah. yeah. How you play when we play like we dumb, yeah. Ooh. Keep it like we're rum, yeah. BFF, yeah. We on the podcast with Dave, yeah. We just trying to rate, yeah. So why they got to hate, yeah. So what can you just say, yeah? Cause boy, we do not play, yeah. I catch you by your snap bag, no fitted with a cap. You're like, damn, you really rap cap. You can't it with hey, a look. snap. I'm like, Dave, why you cap cap? You talking with your shit. They're like, damn, there ain't no 30 when you hit it with a clip. I'm like, damn, why you talking virgin oil on her skin? I'm Ooh. like, damn, how you saying it when you seen it when you in? I'm like, Bodies out of bodies, I'm gonna catch it where he spin. You gonna drop it by his pen, got his Addy in his pen. Hey, look, I'm in the Rari 458 and they be hiding on me, yeah. But I don't really, I don't really like it. I don't really like when they really fade me. I'm a real island boy, yeah. Oh, yeah. Not gold. Great. Gold. Awesome. Great. You hit it all. So, uh, BFF interview finally, Jeff Wittick, and we were just kind of talking. And before you came in, I was like, I wonder if he's just going to like punch me when he walks in. Because no, we, no, had, no, no. we had a dust up that we got to settle. So, this all, and I think even as you and I are talking right here, I my guess, I could be wrong, is you had no idea who I was when the original clips like kind of came out. But no, so no, basically, no, no, no. We'll I, I, I knew you, who you were. You, you I, got hurt seriously yeah. in an uh, accident on the excavator, busted eye, serious, serious shit. And we do BFFs, and we have people who put the entire, like, basically program together of what we're going to talk about. And for the most part, most of the who stuff— Who does that? I want the uh, names. It, oh, it, oh who, trust me. I want the names, too, actually. I, it was I'm Kareem, actually on the it same was probably side. Now, let, let me ease was the tension you, here, guys. Look, I wouldn't be here today if I still had an issue, you know? I know how it is. You read headlines. I do a podcast myself, and you just go off the headlines. Oh, this guy put out a documentary. Who gives a fuck to watch the whole thing? And then Josh's opinion, I get— you know, I use a soundbite all the time on my podcast. It's just an opinion. It's just an opinion. But um, and we yeah. had it. So we it, it, again to set the stage. We 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 get the story and then we talk about it. And at that point, part of what makes I think BFFs interesting is what you were alluding to. Like, I've never been in the collab network world. Like Barstool started as a newspaper. It grew up on like I'd hand it out, and I just didn't even know that world. Like I didn't know who David Dobrik was until yeah. like two years ago. And so I remember a girl being like, he's huge. I'm like, no, he's not. It's like, I'm bigger than Dobrik. And then I found out who the fuck Dobrik yeah. is. So I just didn't know the world. So we get a story, and you're in the accident, and then you have the documentary after, and we commented on it. And we were definitely negative about you, but it wasn't like a personal. It's like, oh, we hear a story, we give the take. Yep. So the, in the take, do we have it? We have the take, right? Oh, we let's roll it. Yeah. I think we should. Let's, let's play the clip. And I, I, yeah. You, this let's just shove it down his throat a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do, do we have? Do Props we have it for doing this? Yeah. I like the way you handle all. Your, you know, you're a stand-up guy, Dave. Forward, yeah. This is play the, play the, clip. the full reaction to what you guys said. Yeah. So I I Love sent it. it today, and this this will play what started this this debate. And then I'll tell you the stuff I started hearing about you after, where people, to be honest, were like, I think you guys would get along. We're if both you sick in the head, so I yeah. feel like we're bound to be good <laughs> friends. Right, so here we go. Jeff Wittick broke his face doing stunt for David <laughs> Dobrik video. So Dobrik's still out here just doing shit? No, 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 yeah. no. This is, this is called the vlog squad is now realizing David is gone. They have nothing left to make, like, money. Mm-hmm. And and now he's like, let me go on this rampage where I'm gonna like come up with a documentary. Come up. With I should have been on the West Coast like, doing this podcast Powell in the room with Josh. Yeah, yeah, you should have came over here. <laughs> I feel like Jeff Wittick is also milking the. That's shit another soundbite on my podcast. Yeah, and she like the she's not here today. Break. What I heard, and I heard this like actually before it even came out. I heard this like five months ago when David like stopped his vlogging like his whole break from vlogging was essentially because this actually not COVID. i heard and i mean from an outsider without knowing any of what do you dobrik was huge i don't know who any of these other people are they're doing shit with dobrik so they get huge and make a living so he puts you on an excavator mm-hmm. slings across the ocean your face busts open you got <laughs> a couple views you know the game you know the game yeah. it you know reminded me and i say it later of jackass yeah. like yeah. no different than fucking safer. jackass like, yeah, you know the I game, mean, you, it is like in, you get shot out of a cannon and into a fucking brick wall, and Uncle Vito comes running out, and hey, that's a wrap. You get views. What's the difference here? Don't complain your face gets ripped. <laughs> you want to have right. clout? You want to be a part of the vlog squad? <laughs> you are right there. Right his face right now. <laughs> yeah. Big deal. That's what I'm saying. They did it. It's not like yeah. David made them do it. You almost died. Pfft. Big deal, dog. You want clout? You want people to know who you are? Like, would people know who you are if you just walk in on the street, punch at a clock, nine to five? No. So shut up and get thrown <laughs> off an F school. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there it is. Damn, there's the Dave, video. I forgot. You shouldn't have played that clip. Now I'm pissed off again. I know. Fucking blood's mad. Blood. Listen, <laughs> it, was a, it, it was a sensitive 
topic. You know, I obviously I was hesitant to put the thing out. The reason I kept the thing a secret is because I didn't want to make a hit piece on my friend. I don't want it to come off that way. Obviously, it was an accident. If it wasn't an accident, somebody be in jail or somebody would have their fucking eye pulled out. You know, I'm trying to get past it by putting out the documentary, sharing my situation. This is what it is. I'm putting this out to help people if they went through an accident, if they're dealing with mental health shit. I feel like the best way to, to help people is share your situation. Even though I come off like this asshole fucking, you know, um, that was the point of putting the thing out. It wasn't a cash grab, Josh. I know that's All right. You All right. I, I headbutted the excavator and almost died to make money and clout. No, that I know. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, yeah. we, we said, we said you're capitalizing on the opportunity. Correct. After. I think that's what it was like. Once it, it, I don't think anyone, because, and to be honest, I didn't even know how serious the injuries were at the time, but once it happened, it's like, all right, it happened. What, what do you and, do and now? What you just said is one angle. We were like, all right, yeah, it happened. You might as well monetize it and get the most out of it. I think we're a lot. We're all a lot more similar than we think here. You know, turning a negative into a positive is a good thing to do in life, and I feel like you guys do the same thing. I you would have done the same thing. You know, uh, I oh, with the pod. I, yeah, that's what we do with the pod. Up, essentially, I would have done that a thousand it. times. But I think the the issue was. None of you guys watch the documentary, which is cool because I'm a headline guy, too, and I talk about stuff on the right. podcast. And, you know, I just do it to break balls. I don't really give a fuck. You know, the whole thing with the podcast, you're supposed to stir, stir shit up, give your take, and read your brand deals, you know? So, no, you're, you're 100%. We didn't I, – I, I can't speak for sure. I had no knowledge of it beforehand. It was like I see a headline and I just riff on it. We go to the next headline. So, I like, the again, I wasn't as deep in it, but I was surprised. So then let's fast forward because Josh calls me because you hmm. called Josh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff right? called and, me. Yeah, yeah Jeff, and, you and called me at, uh, at when I was at – I was at the old – like not the house I'm at right now. I was at my other house, and you were calling me and like – I was like, yo, what's up? And it got like, you got a little, you got a little heated on that phone call. No, I mean, that's just how like, I am. I was just like, fucking around. Dude, I felt you don't no emotion wanna, the whole time. I was you just don't trying mess to, with uh, me. was that true? So that's what I'm you curious. Don't were mess you like, at that point, were you really I knew, pissed? I, or? I knew that by putting this documentary out and sharing the story, I was opening myself up to criticism by not just other people in the world. Um, I knew I was going to get a lot of shit and comments and people would share their opinion, but seeing people not just a hate comment, like one of my peers, another person in the same business as me, I was looking to have that situation happen and then make an example out of somebody. So I was like, perfect. These guys are fucking with me. They called me out and they had this shit take. Now I have something to play off of and I could have fun with this. Got it.